You know, I don't know if you should really be here for this particular track, but um, if, uh, if you don't tell your mom, then I won't. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope that you're having a lovely day. I know that, first of all, I'm in the way and you probably want to see the cat. Is she still there? Never mind, she left. Okay. Oh, she's over there. Okay. I thought you went. Okay. Never mind. Uh, we're listening to the Buzzcocks. <laughs> to, to, to the Buzzcocks. Uh, with their track, Orgasm Addict. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious title. Great band name as well. Um, this is apparently not necessarily off of an album. It says that this was the A-side to the Buzzcocks' first single, Whatever Happened To. Um, and I guess it was later released on their debut. So, anyways, it was released in 1979. That, I, or 1977, I'm sorry. 77. That I at least got for you. Okay. We are, we are trying to explore more punk. I think you guys have noticed by now, like, I've been testing the waters because it's a genre. Just for those of you who are new here and not familiar with me, I don't know anything about punk. I'm trying to actually understand it and appreciate it. Some of it, I, I've gotten to like a little bit. Some of it... Not so much, but I, I am always willing to explore more. I'm always willing to try new music, and uh, Buzzcocks with Orgasm Addict was one that you guys have been recommending quite a lot, so it's time to finally go ahead and get into it. So um, I'm expecting this one to be... I'm expecting this one to be something. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. Orgasm Addict, Buzzcocks. Well, you tried it just for once, find it all right for kicks. But now you find out that it's a habit that sticks and you're an orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. Sneaking in the back door with dirty magazines. So your mother wants to know what all the stains on your jeans. And you're an orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. Uh-huh. But you still keep it beat and you meet to pulp and you're an orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. You're a kick us and over, you're a no chose that fits up. Live on the fucking yourself to death. Orgasm addict. You're an orgasm addict. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh Can I tell you, it's, it's better than I expected. It's even better than I expected. That's, that's the, that's a song. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I'm hot now. First of all, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a great one. Hope you're enjoying the extra video today. Um, <clears throat> all jokes aside, I actually really like that. No, no, I like. I'm serious. I all right. This is this one I can put into the keep bin. I actually enjoyed this song. The lyrics hilarious. I think he gets kind of serious at one point in there. Uh, we'll have to like look at it. Drumming was great. I love when we get into the like. I love when we get into those rolls. That particular rhythm for myself is very addictive. Any band that does it, any genre. As soon as I hear that, that roll and thunder. I'm with it. You're striking lightning with me. And it's going to hit more than once. Hey, I built that up pretty good. Um, vocally, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, definitely works. Right attitude. It's not so... 
this is just personal. Sometimes it works, sometimes not, but it's not so shouty and amelodic that it leaves me a little cold. This actually, I think, fits perfectly in the song. It works for me. It's just melodic enough. I like that. And then even getting to the point of like the story and even vocalizations, when he's doing the uh, uh, like in the music, once again, it works so well thematically, duh, but also just songwriting wise. It just sounds good and it sounds right in here. This actually was a really good track. And two minutes long, it doesn't at all overstay its welcome as a lot of punk does. Not, not, hold on. Not a lot of punk overstays its welcome. I mean, a lot of punk music is short and doesn't overstay its welcome. I probably worded that wrong. But the energy kicking. I love this rhythm. And see, like, the, the breathing, the heavy breathing, the, uh-huh. Yeah, it, it's kind of taking the typical um, vocalizations that, you know, bands and singers would do during a part like this, where there's like, oh, oh, like something like that. But of course, going along with the theme makes it a little more sexual. Yeah, that's good. I like the drums as well, but I really, or not the drums, the guitar, but I'm really focused on the drums. Now, let me see if I can pull up the actual... Uh, names of the people in the band because I don't have them on here and usually I use Wikipedia for this but this actually is not helping me at all um, let me see if this helps if I just pull up the band themselves maybe this will help um, let me pull up maybe the this is gonna be I guess close to their first album let me use the personnel from the first album and just kind of hope maybe it's the same um, but on the drums that's gonna be John Mayer on there I really, really enjoyed his drumming. Pete Shelley is going to be the vocalist here. And like I said, I enjoyed the way that he sang this particular track. I think it works really well. I didn't really hear the bass. I would have to listen to that again. Let me... Oh yeah, bass is actually really nice there. Yeah. Yeah, I like the crashes and the way they end that, of course, with the song title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good song. I like this. Okay. All right, we're, we're making headway, we're making progress, we're getting there. Like, okay, this is exciting for me. I think you guys would understand, like, the excitement, like, right? All right, punk is not a genre I know, I understand as of yet, and I don't like everything in it. But when you start putting those feelers out and trying, and things start to click and things start to light up, it's exciting because all of a sudden you have this brand new world in front of you that of music that you can explore. Possibly, you know? Like, that's that's really exciting. So these lyrics, let me pull them up here. While you tried it just for once, find it all right for kicks, but now you've found out that it's a habit that sticks. And you're an orgasm addict, you're an orgasm addict. Listen, there's nothing... <laughs> there's, there's not... It's not very deep that I have to dive into this one. Yeah, it... Uh, however you got your kicks, you... you you tried it here and there, you're like, okay, that's nice. But then soon enough, you find that um, it's becoming an addiction. Sneaking in the back door with dirty magazines, and your mother wants to know what are those stains on your jeans. You get in a heat, you get in a sulk. You still keep... <laughs> but you still keep on beating your meat to a pulp. I like how no matter which frame of mind he's in, whether you're in heat or in a sulk, depressed or happy, he's just tenderizing. Um, also, you may have just heard thunder because it's about to really storm. Um, you're a kid Casanova. You're no Joseph. I'm just assuming Joseph, like um, Mary's husband. So like you're no saint, basically. It's a labor of love effing yourself to death. I, I like how strong the language is in here. You're making out with school kids, winos and heads of state. We've even made it with the lady who puts the little plastic robins on the Christmas cakes. Butcher's assistants and bellhops, you've had them all here and there. Children of God and their joy strings, international women with no body hair. Okay, so let's back this up a second. As we mentioned, now we're talking about an addiction. Now, I'm assuming, well, there's a few things we can assume. He mentions his mother and his pants and the stain or whatever. And he's, you know, so we can assume that this is a teenager, I'm assuming, right? Or some young person. Now, is this story following them in a timeline and as they're growing up and how this addiction continues? Or is he still this age? Because the lyrics I just read 
making out with school kids. I hope it's school kids your age. But he also says winos and heads of state. Now, orgasm addict doesn't necessarily have to involve someone else. So he could have actually been with these people sexually. Or he could just be, of course, thinking this all in his head for kicks. But even if it's in his head, I mean, it's, it's some of the ch children have gotten their joy strings, school kids. I mean, international women with no body hair. I'm just assuming young women, kids. The addiction has really gone to another level, basically. Oh, so while you're asking in an alley and your voice ain't steady, the sex mechanic's rough. You're more than ready. The sex mechanic's rough. Now that I don't understand. The sex mechanic's rough. There's something about that that I'm not putting together, but I think that this addiction is just going further and further. Johnny wants <laughs> L always. And always he's got the energy on me. He's always at it. He, he's like a chihuahua. He's like a little dog, just constantly humping. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I like the song though. I do like the song. I do like that. That's good. That's that's good. Hey, let me know what you guys thought of it. You can let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. You can do so many things. So many. But I hope that you enjoyed the music. Uh, come back tomorrow. You never know what we're going to do. I know what Johnny's going to be doing, but I, <laughs> but I don't know what we're going to be doing. But I hope that it's going to be good. Hey, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.